Today's class is called Crazy Burn, and we're gonna start, you're gonna want your soft Pilates ball. So pull your ball out right here. Take your ball, go ahead and wedge it under your reformer. We're gonna start with one medium spring. Here at the studio, that is one red spring. So we're gonna go to one red spring, we're gonna lay all the way down. All right, so lay all the way down. Ooh, it's chilly down here. You can have your headrest up if you would like. I like mine up. Take the left strap and you're gonna bring it over the arch of your right foot. I like the short loop personally. The long loop is just gonna be a little less aggressive of a stretch. And then the other leg, you're just gonna extend over your foot bar. Cross the leg over and hold. And then we're gonna open the leg out to the side like this and hold it right there. And then we're gonna cross it over again, holding it right there, getting a nice stretch to the outside of the leg. And then go ahead, open out to the side. And then take the leg straight up to the ceiling, grab onto the pegs next to your ears, lift the um, extended leg off the foot bar, it's just lifted. Inhale, lower the leg down, feel that core start to tighten, and then exhale, bring it right back up. We're here for three, taking it down. Ribs are connected, abdominals are tight. For two. Good, last one right here. Now we're gonna go into circles. That core should be tight. Hold on tight to those um, pegs with your hands. Circle the leg around. We're here for three. Two. Last one right here. One. Now reverse your circle. Take it the other way. So circling here for three. Two. Good. And then you're gonna come into that pretzel stretch. So you bend the right leg, bring your left knee to your right ankle and just hold right here. You can even kind of sway from side to side if that feels good. All right, let's take that strap off. Quickly place it back on the left peg. You're gonna pick up the right strap, bring it over the arch of your left foot. Extend the foot up. Extend the non-strap leg over the foot bar. Cross the leg over. Get a nice stretch on the outside of that leg. And then opening it out to the side, holding it right here like this. And then crossing it over again, holding it there. And then opening out to the side, holding it there. Take your foot up to the ceiling, grab onto the pegs next to your ears, lift the right leg off the foot bar, tighten that core. Take it down, we're here for three. You should feel that core tighten as that leg lowers. For two, and a one, starting our circles. Pick a direction, any direction, we're here for three. That core is nice and strong. The non-strap leg is extended long, tone the top of that leg. One more this way. And then we're gonna reverse, reverse it here for three, two, last one, one. Come into that pretzel stretch, bend the left knee. Bring your right knee to your left ankle and hold right there. All right. So I want you to pick up that ball Bring it between your ankles or your calves like this. So the ball goes directly between my calves. And then I pick up my straps again. Bring the straps over the arches of your feet, the long loops. We're still on that medium spring. All right, once that ball is there, bring your hands behind your head, cradle the skull, lift up into that C-curve, elbows are wide. So your head is heavy in your hands. We're gonna go into leg lower. So you're gonna lower the legs down. Contract the core, squeeze the ball, take it up. We're here for 10. Inhale through your nose as you lower. Contract the core, squeeze the ball, take it up for nine. 
Squeeze the ball, take it up for eight. Let the legs be heavy. I want those deep abs to create the work. Six more right here for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now you're gonna lower it down, hold it at a 45 degree angle. Hold it right here. Reach the hands forward, head is lifted. Start pumping those arms. Inhale for five. Exhale for five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. We're gonna change it. Inhale. On the exhale, tuck the knees in. Two, three, four, five, and lengthen. Scoop those abs and tuck. Deep abs are drawing those knees in. And lengthen. And tuck. Good, two more like that. Lengthen. And tuck. Last one right here, lengthen and tuck. Good, bring your hands behind your head. Let the head be heavy. Continue the tucks and draw it in. Add a little lift if you wanna to add to those deep abs. So my head is heavy in my hands. Those deep abs are creating that lift. Give me eight more right here for eight. Really think about deflating those deep transverse abdominal muscles to create that lift. The deepest muscles that you have in that core. Woo, five more, here we go for five. And four, you've got it for three, two, last one right here, one little lift and lift, just lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the ball out, take your feet out of those straps. Bring your knees to your chest. So I grab behind my knees like this and I just roll myself up like a ball. All right, we're gonna stay with that spring. Go ahead and grab the ball. We're gonna bring the ball between your shoulder blades and then we're gonna lay back down. So laying back down on that ball. We're gonna start with our elbows down. My feet are in Pilates V, hands are down too. Think about cinching the ribs to the hips as you press the low back into the carriage. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, we're lifting away. We're here for eight. Think about toning the tops of the legs as you jump. And with those deep abs firing, maintain that Pilates scoop. We have five more for five. You've got it. Draw that tummy in tight as you jump for four. Three, it's all about the core, not the legs here. For two and one. Now just the ankles, little pops. Here we go for eight and seven, six, five. You've got it for four, three, two, one. Take it in. We're gonna do one more round. If you wanna invite a little challenge, bring your hands behind your head. Scoot the butt forward. Since the ribs to the hips, press that low back into the carriage. Here we go, another eight. Lifting away for eight. Deep tummy muscles right here for seven, six, five. Four, three, woo, two, and one. Legs stay long, just the ankles. Eight and seven. We're here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way in. Take your right hand, bring it down. Left hand stays behind your head. Extend the right leg long. Just practice jumping off of the left leg. Now we're gonna add a twist, left elbow to right knee. You're gonna feel the right waist. Here we go for six. Deep abs right here for five and four. Hang in there for three, two. Last one right here, one. Good, left elbow down, left leg is long. Right hand comes behind your head. Practice the jump right here like this. Add a twist, here we go for six. And five, four, three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, you've got it turning to the side. All right, so 
Whew, ball is right here like this. Tuck your bottom leg under, top leg is long. You're gonna press the carriage out. So I'm pressing my heel into the base of the reformer frame. So not your foot bar, but bring it lower to the frame. All right, so now stack the hips. Squeeze this glute. Hands come behind your head. We're going to inhale, take it down. Squeeze the glute. Lift it up. We're here for 10. Squeeze and lift for 9. 8. 7. 6. And 5. 4. Three, two, one, palms to the ceiling, pulse it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your right elbow down, reach that left arm up and over. Great big stretch. And then rotate from your spine to bring it down right there like that. All right, so we're gonna take your ball, bring it on the right side, kneel against your shoulder rest like this. We're gonna roll the shoulders back. Find a nice long spine as you hinge forward, bringing the thumbs on top of your frame. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, prepare. Press into the heels of your hands as you pull yourself through right here. Think about drawing the shoulder blades down to your back pockets if you were wearing jeans. Pull the shoulder blades down as you open and lift the chest. Armpits are hollow. We do not want to let the shoulders round forward for six. You've got it. Press and pull yourself through for five. Keep it up right there. For four. Good, just one more. And one. All right, now from here, we're gonna turn to the side. We're gonna finish the side sit up on this side. And that'll conclude our warm up. So the ball comes underneath, bottom leg is tucked under, top leg is long, like this. So press the carriage away. Press into the heel of your right foot. Hands come behind your head. Squeeze that glute, take it down. Squeeze and lift right here for 10. Nine. Eight. Think about cinching the rib to tip as you lift for seven. For six, five, and four. Squeeze and lift right here for three, two. Last one right here. One, palms to the ceiling, little pulses. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take that left elbow down, reach the right arm up and over. Open those ribs, rotate from your spine. All right, come up from there. We are done with our soft Pilates ball. So we can ditch those. All right, so is what you're gonna need, you're gonna need your heavier weights. You can definitely use the lighter ones too. It's just choreographed with heavier ones. You pick what works best for you. These are 10 pounders or we also have five pounders. I have seven pounders in the back if you'd rather have those. We're gonna do a red and a blue. So if you're following us at home, that's a medium and a light. <sighs> All right, there's my list. Okay, so pick up those weights. Stand behind the reformer. Take your right foot, bring it against the shoulder rest like that. Now the farther your feet are from each other, the easier this is gonna be. If you scoot close like that, it's gonna be heavier. So start out like this and you can adjust as we go. All right, so let's just look at the legs first. Shoulders, hips are facing the windows in front of us. Press the carriage away, resist it closing. See how I'm kind of leaning into it just a little bit? We're gonna add some arms right here like this. Reach it up and resist. We're here for 10. You've got it. For nine, abs, I want them tight for eight. Whew. Seven. And six. For five. Four. You've got it, you guys. We're here for three. Two. One. Hold the arms right here, just the leg for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. One, take your dumbbells, bring them on the carriage like this. You want the heads of the dumbbells 
facing the shoulder rest like that. All right, so now this time, you're gonna roll the shoulders back, you're gonna, or you're gonna ride the carriage out and back in. So you have to actively press into that heel, ride it out and back in. You should definitely feel those legs working. Here we go, eight more for eight. Go with the carriage. For seven, you've got it. For six, right here, resist as it comes back in. We're here for five. Woo! And four. So good. Really pressing into that heel. For three, can you guys start to feel that right leg? There is a reason why this class is called Crazy Burn today. One more. You've got it. Now bring your left hand to your foot bar. Extend your right leg out. Flex that foot. It's not pretty. Lower. And lift. We're here for a 10. Nine. We're going to burn out that right leg on this flow. Seven. And six. Five. Four. You've got it. Give me three. Woo! Two. And one. Now turning this way, grab one weight. It's going to be in the left hand, the outside hand. Right foot is going to come against the shoulder rest. Hop your floor foot back. So take a hop back like that. Now, before we add the arm, roll the shoulders back. Practice pressing it out. Yes. And back in. Press. Now, if you can, you bring this hand here. We're going to add a pull. We're here for a 10. Pull for a nine. Eight. Think about rounding that booty right there for seven. Six. You've got it, you guys. For five. Four. Three. Two, last one right here, this is it. One. Bring the dumbbell behind that right knee. Hold it right here like this. Squeeze it, you don't wanna lose it. Lower. And lift her here for 10. Crazy burn coming up for nine and eight. Abdominals are tight for seven. You've got it, you guys, for six. Woo, five, four, three, two. Hold the last one, one, and pulse it, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ditch that weight. Whew. Both weights are on the carriage. The dumbbell heads are facing the foot bar and the shoulder rest. Take the blue spring off. So if you're following us at home, take the light spring off. We're on one medium now, just one medium. All right. So now your hands are going to be on the foot bar like this. You're gonna push it out to a lunge. Draw the shoulders down. Now we're gonna stand into this right leg to lift up as the carriage closes. Ride the carriage home. Hollow out those abs. Stand into the foot bar and that foot. Now we're gonna add a kick. We're gonna do 10 of them. Kick it up for 10. You should definitely feel the standing leg, your right leg for nine. The carriage leg. Eight, yes. Whew. And seven, it's our heart rate getting up. We're here for six, five, four, three, two. Last one right here. This is it. One. Whoo, bring it in. Okay, so we're going to bring our foot bars down to the middle shelf. So you bring those tabs in, bring the foot bar down to the middle shelf. If you're following us at home, bring your foot bar down low enough so you can stand on the platform and have your foot bar up. Okay. Bottom. Sorry, it's on the middle shelf. Sorry, I meant to say bottom. All right. Thank you for clarifying. So now take your weights. Bring them to the top of your carriage like this, but open them out so there's room. Okay. So you're going to take your right, so we come up on top. Take your right foot, the ball of your foot, bring it on the platform, and then bring your left knee down to your carriage. So we have a progressive lunge right here, okay? Grab those weights. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the left glute to press those hips forward just a little bit. Practice just pressing away. This part's not that hard. It's gonna slowly grow in difficulty. Add an alternating row right here for eight. Seven, our alternating bicep curl. For six and five, you've got it. Four, for three, two, and one. Now, practice this. 
Stand into your foot, come up and down. Now, if you need to walk your foot forward a little bit, your left foot, you can. Here we go. We're just gonna do six like this. Dumbbells are just weighing us down. Think nose, knees, and toes. Take it up for six. How's that right leg? And five, woo, takes a lot of balance. For four, if you need to hold on to the foot bar, that is fine. For three, two, and one. We're gonna put it together, which actually gets, takes the intensity down just a little bit. So you press it out. The arms just keep doing this the whole time. Take it up and down. Take it out, woo! Bring it in, stand into that platform, up and down. You've got to give me five more for five. Woo! How we doing? How is that right leg? And four. Ditch the weights if you need to. For three. Two. Last one. Woo! <sighs> Come up here. Just find an easy lunge right here like this. Roll those shoulders back. Take it down. We're here for 10 and 9. 8. Catch your breath here. Woo! 6 and 5. 4. You got it for three, two, last one right here, one. Bring the carriage all the way home. Come down to your knees. Whew. Catch your breath for one second. Roll the shoulders back a little bit. All right, we're gonna come into a plank. You're gonna bring your hands to your foot bar like this. Find a plank position. My feet are about the center of my carriage. My shoulders are directly over my hands. Find a flamingo. Take the left leg, bend it. Scoop the abs, pike it up right here. Really think about drawing that tummy in tight to create that lift. Whew, four more. For four, hollow out that tummy as you lift right here for three. Deep abs, my friends. Two, last one right here. One, take it out, pause. Tuck the knee in and press it out. And in and out. Give me five more for five. Whew. Four, three, two, last one. One, catch your breath. Whew. All right. You're gonna turn this way here like this. And you're gonna grab one weight. Remember the weight is always optional. Take the weight into your left hand, right here. All right, bend both legs. Bend both legs, roll the shoulders back, stick the tail out. You're gonna ride the carriage out, so you're gonna go with it. The right leg stays bent the entire time. Bring it back in. Now, we're gonna reach and pull, and reach and pull. Here we go, eight more for eight. Stay low, you guys. For seven, I want that right leg to shake. For five, abdominals are tight. We're here for four, whoo, and three, two. Hold the last one for me. Hold it out here, hold it. Hold the elbow here, just hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continue to hold at a row. And row, here we go. Eight, seven, six, and five, Woo. four, how's the burn? Three, two, one, bring it home. Woo, come to your knees. Oh, so carefully, come to your knees. Catch your breath. Bring both of those weights out with you. So now from here, I'm gonna shimmy all the way to my shoulder S. My right foot is gonna come onto the frame. Now, if possible, you want your left knee up against that shoulder S. And then you grab the weights. The farther your foot is from your knee, the farther my right foot is from my knee, the more range of movement we're gonna have. Practice pulling. 
You have to really press into that right heel as you pull. Overhead press. Here we go, friends. We're here for 10. Resist. Nine. You've got it. Lift from that pelvic floor for eight. Ditch the weights if you need to. For seven. Woo. Six. And five. Four. How is that right leg? For three. Two. One. We're going to change it. Take the foot to the floor. Turn those toes out. Same thing. Practice the pull. You've got it. Here we go. And pull. So if you bring your knee in between the shoulder rests, it's a little easier. Add the arms. Here we go. Ten. Nine. You've got it. Eight. Hang in there. Seven. Can you feel the burn? For six. Woo. Five. We are almost done. Four. Three. Two, last one right here. It is so tough. One. Whew. All right. Step off the carriage this way. You're going to take your left foot. So when we're standing here, the foot that's closest to your reformer is going to stay on the floor. Your right foot is going to come in front of that shoulder rest. Roll the shoulders back. Hinge forward. Press it out and in. Out. In. Pick up one dumbbell, add a tricep press right here. Press it back for 10. Your nose is right over those toes for nine. Abs are tight, we're here for eight. Tone that booty as you press. Woo! For six, spine is long for five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, you guys, take a minute break, 30 seconds to a minute. Grab some water and a towel. Whew. What are we going to do on the other side? What we need to do is we need to bring our foot bars back to the middle shelf. So bring your foot bars back to your middle shelf right here. And then we're going to go to the red and the blue. So add that blue back on. So you're on a medium and a light if you're following us at home. <sighs> All right, so we start with that carriage press first. I call it Captain Morgan. So pick up those weights if you choose to use them. Remember, they're always optional. Your left foot is going to come against the shoulder rest like this. And I kind of stab my toes. I kind of wedge the toes there. Now, square off the shoulders and the hips. Squeeze the right glute to press those hips forward. Practice pressing it out, resisting. Good. So you're slightly leaning into it. Not a lot, though. Here we go. Add the weights. We're here for 10. Resist those elbows coming down for nine, eight, seven, six. You've got it. Here we go for five. Yes, ladies. For four, three, two, one. Hold the elbows halfway and just press the leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Place the weights on your carriage. Right hand comes to the foot bar. Extend the left leg out. Flex your foot. Ankle bone to the ceiling. Here we go. Lift it up for 10 and nine. You've got it. Eight, seven. The body is not moving around. We're here for six and five. Those abs are tight for four, three, two, one. Good. Turn to face your foot bar. We have one weight with us this time. All right, you can start with the left hand on the foot bar if you would like. Hop the floor foot back, roll the shoulders back. Good, so you're gonna round the booty as you press, press. Good, one more practice, press. Take the hand off if you can, add a pull. We're here for 10, nine, eight. Round that booty for seven, Woo! Six, five, four, you've got it. Three, two, one. Take the weight, bring it behind the left knee. This time we did 10 regular ones and 10 pulses. All right, are you ready? We're right, squeeze the weight. Here we go. Take it up. We're here for 10. Abdominals are tight for nine, eight, seven, six. And five, four, 
three, two, one. Hold this one here. Pulse it, friends. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! That burns pretty good, huh? All right. Go to one red spring. So we're going to take that blue spring off. Your foot bar stays where it is for this next part. We're going into the flying lunge. All right, your hands are on the foot bar. Your right foot is on the floor. Push the carriage away. Hold it right here. Stand into the left foot and your hands. Lift the hips up as the carriage comes under. One more practice. Really draw that tummy in and lift. Now, we're gonna add the kick. Are you ready? Here we go. And kick. We're here for 10. Getting the heart rate back up for nine. Woo! Eight. Seven. For six, five, four, you've got it. For three, two, last one right here, this is it. One, Woo. Okay, now we take the foot bar down to the bottom shelf, okay? Bottom shelf. <sighs> Okay, so, just catching my breath. Take your weights, they come to the front of your carriage and you just kind of open them up a little bit. The working leg is our left leg, so we're gonna take the left foot, bring it on the platform. All right, when you're ready, you grab those weights. This is the easy part. Remember this one, where you just push out and back in. Here we go, we're gonna do eight of them. Press it out, do whatever you want with the arms. I like to alternate. Seven, you got it. For six, whoo, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now I like to scoop my knee forward for this one. This is the one where we stand up, okay? So the weights aren't gonna do anything. You're simply gonna stand up and down. You got it? Six of those, here we go. Take it up for six, right back down. Take it up for five, four, three is so much work. Two, woo, one. All right, we're gonna put it together for six. Are you guys ready? <sighs> Add those arms if you can. Here we go, glide out. Bring it home, stand up, whoop, and back down. Ditch the weights if you need to. Keep going, we have five more for five. And up, four, and up, three, whoo, up, two, up, one. All right, guys, walk the foot forward, find a lunge. Just 10 lunges, easy peasy. Weights are just weighing us down. We're here for a 10 and nine, eight. Are we shaking? I'm shaking. Seven, six, and five, Whew. four, crazy burn. For three, just 20 minutes left, guys. Two. One, take it all the way down. <sighs> Catch your breath. Whoo, ditch the weights. All right, <sighs> roll the shoulders back. Give yourself a second to recover. That's pretty intense. So we go into a plank from here. Legs are gonna get a little bit of a break, just a little bit. All right, hands are on your foot bar. Walk your toes forward like this. Find your plank. So my feet are about the center of my carriage. All right, now I want you to stand strong onto the left foot, bend the right leg, flamingo here, scoop the abs, pike it up right here. Here we go. For six, hollow out those abs as you lift for five, four, three, woo, two, last one right here. One, 
Now, flamingo, or not flamingo, tuck. Tuck it in and out for six. Abs are tight here for five, four, three, two, one. Woo, catch your breath. <sighs> Turn towards our sparkly curtain. Your left, your right foot comes on the platform. Left foot is on the carriage. Pick up one of those weights. You're gonna bend both legs. Both legs bend. Good, stick the tail out. Now, you're gonna push the carriage out. Go with the left foot and back in. We're gonna add the weight. So reach the weight to your foot and then pull it back. Stay low, here we go, for 10. Stay low, here we go. For nine, eight, seven, six, and five, so close. Four, whoo, three, two. We hold this last one out here, you ready? Hold it right here, just hold. Hold, 10, nine, abs are tight for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Add a pull, here we go for 10, nine. Are we sweating, eight, whoo, seven, six, five, four, three, two, how was that like, one, whoo, bring it in. Come down to your knees, catch your breath. So good, you guys. All right, we're gonna wiggle this way. <sighs> you want both weights. So my left foot comes onto the frame. My right knee is all the way against the shoulder rest. <sighs> so from here, pick up both weights if you'd like to use them, it is optional. Before you add the weight, just practice the pull. So I, I press firmly into the heel as I pull. Switch on that glute, are you ready? Overhead press for 10, here we go. We're here for 10. Press and squeeze for a nine. Hips should be forward. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, yes. Three, woo, two, crazy burn, one. Woo, crazy lady, that's me. Bring your left foot to the floor. <sighs> Turn out the toes of your left foot, your floor foot. Practice pulling it through. You've got it. Here we go, you ready? Add the arms, just 10. It's not a big range of movement. Nine, press into that heel. Eight, and seven. One more move after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Woo! Stand to the side of your reformer, facing this way here like this. The foot closest to the reformer stays on the floor. Left foot comes against the shoulder rest. Roll the shoulders back, hinge forward. Abs are tight. Press it back. You want to add a weight. We did that tricep press right here. Final 10. And we're headed down for nine, eight. Round that booty as you press right there for seven. Yes. Six, five. Keep that elbow back. Four, three, whoo, two, one. Whoo. Take a little break. Grab some water and a towel. Whew, going into our finale flow. Here's the setup for our finale flow. You wanna bring your foot bar to the top shelf. So your foot bar comes to the top shelf. And then, now, I want you to go to one yellow spring. If you're following us at home, go to the lightest spring that you have. Okay. <sighs> Now, you bring your box right here like this. So you bring it all the way against the foot bar. Oh, I'm sweating my fake tan off. That's what you get for wearing white the day after a tan, a spray. Okay, so this is how we do this. You take one hand, push it into your box. The other hand, you pull with the shoulder rest to pull the carriage out so it's not under your box anymore. 
So it's going to be kind of propped in front. Yeah. Okay, we only need one weight on the carriage for this next part. So you can ditch that one, put it on the floor. All right, so we have a traveling push-up row situation here, okay? We're going to do it for a minute. I'm going to walk you through it first, okay? So we're going to start all the way this way. So you're right in front of your foot bar. One hand on the foot bar, one hand on the box. It's pretty simple. So what we do is we do a tricep push-up. Walk to the right, bring your left hand on the box. So I step out, one hand comes onto the carriage, tricep push up, step this way. So now you're centered with your weight. We're gonna do a row here and a row here, and then we just reverse. And then we step here, push up, step here, push up. We're gonna do it for a minute. We, almost, we did it 45 seconds in the last class, and we all decided we could do 15 more seconds. So starting in five, Four, three, two, one. Foot bar push up. You've got it. Step to the right. Box and carriage. Push up. Step to the right. Center yourself with your dumbbell. Grab it. Reach. Grab it. Reach. And then reverse. Box, carriage. Push up. Box, foot bar. Push up. Box, carriage. Push up, center yourself with your dumbbell. Here we go, reach it up. Think about rotating from the spine, wringing those abs out like a sponge. To the box, push up, to the foot bar, push up. I'm keeping my elbows narrow during all push ups, and I'm drawing those abs in tight to support that back. Push up, we only have 10 more seconds. See, I told you it would go by fast. Woo, keep going. Let's make it all the way to that foot bar. Woo, <sighs> time. A minute goes by fast, right? You're like, yeah. All right, now we're just gonna do the row for 30 seconds, okay? So let's just do the right arm row, okay? So you're here like this. Actually, sorry, it's alternating, my bad. All right, so grab the dumbbell. Let's look at the time. Reach it up, 30 seconds here. Replace it, grab with the other hand, reach it up. Draw those abdominals in tight to support that back. You've got it, you guys. Woo! Just 10 more minutes. Can you hang in there for 10 minutes? All right, five, four, three, Two, one. Whew. All right. Catch your breath. Go ahead and bring your dumbbell on the box right here like that. So from here, your hands are going to come on the box. You're going to stand up on your carriage like this. So fingertips are on. Now I want you to take your right foot. Turn your toes towards our, towards our front windows. And it's about the center of my carriage. My left foot is going to cross over it. Good, in front of it, cross in front there. There you go, Brandy. All right, now shoulders are gonna stay over your hands. As you open the carriage, drop the hips, press into the back hand, cinch that bottom waist, bring it in for six. Good, can you square the hips off with the floor? Press into that back hand, lift for five. Think about cinching the rib to your hip of your left side as you lift for four. You've got it, we're here for three. So good, you guys. Woo! And two. Last one. You guys are doing awesome and crazy burn. Crazy burn is hard. Now, I want you to take your hands, turn them this way. So my thumbs are facing in, my fingertips are out. All right, so take your right foot, bring it as close to the box as you can, and then extend your left foot back. Okay, now I'm gonna push the carriage out. As I do, I kick the foot front, and then it sweeps to the back. Keep your shoulders over your hands the entire time. Just five more for five. Armpits are hollow. My shoulders are directly over my hands for four. You've got it. Here we go. For three. And two. Woo! Last one. One. So good. All right. Woo! <sighs> So, we're here like this. Almost there, guys. So, 
So the dumbbell is just weighing us down. We're just holding it in our hands. My feet are pretty close together. One foot is on the box, one foot is on the carriage. I'm gonna step up, tap. Step down, push it out. We're here for 10, ready? So step up, tap. Nose, knees, and toes, lunge it out. Bring the carriage in, then step up. Eight, take it down. How are we doing? This is tough. For seven, yes, you've got it. Here we go. For six, and five. Draw that tummy in tight. Four, three, two, last one right here. One. All right. Turn to face your box. Ditch the weight. No weight this time. Whew, little combo here. Roll the shoulders back. Find a deep lunge. Good. Now you reach forward. Tap the foot bar. Kick it up. We're here for 10. Ready? Coming down for 10. And kick. How is that left leg? Can you guys feel that? For nine. Woo, this is so tough. Eight, I might be regretting doing 10, but we're gonna do it. First seven. Six. Five. Almost there, you guys. Just four more, here we go. Four. Three. Such a good burn. Final two. Woo! Last one right here. This is it, you guys. Is it shaking? One. It is a crazy burn. Woo! Would you kill me if I'm like, one more round? Just kidding. Step off your box to the right. We're going to give those legs a nice break. Careful when you step off. That leg is jello. We got to do the arm sequence. Almost there, you guys. So the dumbbell comes to the center of the carriage. Oh, this one wasn't so bad. One minute on this one. So we start at the foot bar first. Foot bar first. Let me check the time. Starting three, two, one. Narrow push up. Step to the left. Box, carriage, push up. Step to the left. Center with your dumbbell. Reach it up and up. And then walk to the box and carriage. Push up. Walk to the foot bar and box. Push up. We're burning out those arms right here. You've got it. Don't forget to breathe. We're drawing that tummy in tight to support that back. Box and carriage, push up. Woo! Box and foot bar, push up. Take it back. Almost there. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna finish with that dumbbell. Woo! Collect yourself for a sec. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that, that box stuff coming up. <laughs> All right, renegade row, 30 seconds, alternating arms. Let's go ahead and get there. We are almost done, you guys. All right, find your carriage, here we go. 30 seconds alternating row, starting right now. Woo, so good. We started a few minutes late. So we're gonna go over time just a little bit. So good, hang in there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, taking the dumbbell to the center of your box. I gotta grab a sip of water. Oh, good, it's on. I was like, is that not on? Here we go. All right, carefully step up onto your carriage like this. We're gonna start with a snake plank. So you take your left foot, Turn your toes towards the sparkly curtain. 
Hands are on the box. Fingertips are facing your foot bar. Cross the right foot over. Shoulders are over your hands. Shift your weight to the back hand. Take it out. Press into that back hand and pike it up. We're here for a six. The more I press into the back hand, the more I feel it. For five. Press and cinch that waist right there. For four. You've got it, you guys. Can you feel that bottom waist? For three. Woo! Two. Last one right here. This is it. One. Now, we're going to turn this way like this. So your hands come to the sides like that. Take the left foot. Bring it a little closer. Right leg extends back. As I open the carriage, I kick to the front. Then I kick back. Here we go. Five more like that. Take it front and back. Press into the hand closest to your foot bar for four. Woo! Three. Almost there, you guys. Final two. Woo! And one. Ah, oh, catch your breath. <sighs> All right. So that dumbbell just weighs us down. We got to get through this horrid part. I know. <sighs> It's so fun to choreograph, but not as fun to do. <laughs> All right, I do love a good burn though. Okay, so if you're choosing to use the weight, it's right here on top of the chest. So is what we did is we just step up like that. We're doing eight on the side, 10 to the front. And then you ride it out, press into the box leg, lift it up, seven, take it out. Switch on the glute as you lift. For six, I let the carriage come all the way to the box before I lift. For five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All right. Good. All right, that, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? You just discovered that. You're like, dang it! I could have been holding it the whole time. Turn this way. We don't use the weight, so you can ditch the weight. This is it. This is our final burn. Everybody take a look at your box. Make sure it's centered, just so that you don't feel like it's going to shift. There we go. All right, roll the shoulders back, you guys. This is the final burn. Look at that. We're going to end almost on time. So we're going to lunge down. Good, with a long spine hinge forward. Touch the foot bar, kick it up. Just nine more, take it down. Whew, this is the burn right here. Nine, grand finale burn, and it is not letting us down. For eight, we're gonna get there. We're gonna make it. For seven. For six, you've got it. And five, four, three, two, oh, one more. Woo! One. Oh, carefully come down. Your legs may be jello y. We're just gonna stretch you guys. This is it. Ditch the weight. Carefully take that box off. The carriage is gonna come home when you do it. So don't let that scare you. We are done with the boxes. Almost done with class. Now I would bring your foot bar back to that middle shelf. So we're gonna bring our foot bar back to the middle shelf. Let's go to a red spring. If you're following us at home, that's one medium spring. Catch your breath, grab some water if you need it. All right, side splits. Left foot is gonna be on the floor and I'm pressing it against the foot of the bed. Take your right foot, bring it against the shoulder. Reach those arms up, get a nice stretch. Hinge forward with a flat spine. Can you guys feel that right leg right away? Woo, take it out, hold it here. Here for five, four, three, two, one, bringing it back in. Give me two more like that. Such a nice stretch. Woo, 
taking it out, holding. And back in. How about we do just one more? Bringing it home. I think I see some sunshine. This stupid snowstorm, I swear to God, it's because I bought expensive sandals this week. <laughs> and they were delivered yesterday. The poor guy had to like walk through the snow to walk it to my door. It's, it's just, it's mother nature telling me to stop spending money. But they are fabulous <laughs> when I can eventually wear them. So you're here like this. We're going to take it out. It's something I've been eyeing for like a year. And I finally pulled the trigger one night when I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and then they came and it snowed. It's like washing your car, then it rains. Same thing. Two more like that. One more. But I do see some sunshine peeking through. It's going to be in the 70s next week, which is nice. Go ahead and switch legs. We're just going to work backwards. Hips are forward. So right away, I feel this stretch right here. We're going to take it out nice and slow. Woo. And back in. All right, we do one more here. All right, so step off the reformer to the right. Turn to face your reformer this way. Your right foot is going to come under. Bring the left foot on top. Reach your hands up. Draw the shoulders down. You're going to float forward with a flat back. And then from here, we're going to ride it out. And then back in. All right, how about just one more right here? And then you guys are all done. Give yourselves a hand. Thanks for coming, you guys. Have a nice Wednesday. Now